This is Jason Pitts. Subscribe to Tori Does Everything or we're coming after you. Welcome back to Tori Does Everything. On today's episode, we are going over the most overrated movies of all time. And the comment section on this ought to be great since everyone got so mad at me over the overrated bands. But I don't care. So <laughs> I'm doing this one. Before we get onto this list, I want to make a little point here. That just because we say something is overrated doesn't mean it's bad. For my honorable mention, it's a movie that is good, but at the same time, I just don't get the big hype about it. Like, the, everybody thinks it's so great. I think it's good. I just don't think it's so great. I don't like it. And my honorable mention is Goonies. It has such a good cast and it's so annoying. I don't like it either. Yeah. I think that maybe we're just a weird house that just doesn't like it. Well, that's a possibility, too. Well, it's overrated. It means it's popular, but we just don't like it personally. So Yeah, yeah I know. I'm saying our family has the same taste in it, yeah. is what I'm saying. We just don't. It's just not our thing. What is your honorable mention? My honorable mention is Star Wars. And you may be thinking, Star Wars, which one? All of them. <laughs> I've tried them multiple times. Different movies multiple times. It's so boring. I don't get it. And all the writing is so bad. Whenever you go to watch it, it's like, oh, Luke, your father is dead. Like, yeah, he knows that. <laughs> you don't have to tell him. <laughs> uh, we did try to watch it because we have friends that like it, and we wanted to kind of have something to talk to him about, and we just couldn't get into it. We tried. We just tried. I tried it in the chronological order story-wise. I tried it in chronological order movie-wise. I can't do it. I'm sorry. Yeah, not for us, but if you like it, that's okay. Yeah. We get it. Everybody likes different things, so it's okay. Well, the whole story starts off with, what is it, the second or third? Yeah, which is kind of like the MCU, Like, I that's guess. where the movies start, is like the second or third story. Right. And you're just like, okay, I prefer space balls. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so now we're on to our top five. <laughs> What's your number five? My number five reminds me of a time that I had the time of my life and I never felt this way before. My number five is Dirty Dancing. As a child, you watch this movie and you're like, oh, it's a sweet little love story. As a dad, you watch yeah. this movie and you're like, that guy would be in the bottom of the lake. Yeah. And, and it should be. And I'm going to put Baby in the corner, and I'm going to put you in the lake. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I never really liked that movie either. No, I don't either. Oh, what good luck. The luck of the Irish. <laughs> <laughs> so, my number five is Dirty Dancing, because as a grown-up, it's a horrible, horrible story. It's not a romance. It's a horror movie. Yeah. <laughs> so, what is your number five? My number five is also an 80s movie, and that is The Breakfast Club. Now... The reason this is number five for me and not lower is because the soundtrack is good. It gives off a good 80s vibe. And, you know, just cinematography-wise and music-wise and fashion-wise, it's fun in that regard. But the story itself, I hate everyone in it. And no one is likable in it. Except for the principal. <laughs> Although he should have punched that boy in the mouth. I agree. He said, you're going, I got you for two months. Yeah. He should have went, I got you for, I'm going to punch you in the mouth. Yeah. Yeah, that gets just a jerk. And then at the end, spoiler, if you don't want to know. But then at the end, the popular girl falls in love with him. Even though he's just so mean to her the whole time. I, I will say this, though. It is a great concept. And when done properly, it's, it's an excellent, excellent movie. The Lemonade Mouth. Yes, go watch Lemonade Mouth. It is done perfectly. Mm -hmm. And it's kind of the same theme yeah. as The Breakfast Club. And it has Shooter McGavin in it. <laughs> there you go. It's even better. Yeah, and he's, he's probably the best character in the yeah. whole movie. <laughs> moped down the hallway. That's a segue. Oh, yeah, yeah. Not a moped. <laughs> I said the wrong name. <laughs> so my number four is a movie that I didn't care for as a kid as a teenager and definitely didn't care for it as an adult. I couldn't even finish this one. Ferris Bueller's Day Off. Like, nothing in that movie remotely could possibly ever happen. And they try to pitch as, oh, I'm just the greatest teenager of all the time. Mm -hmm. You know, when truth be told, he's the worst. <laughs> he called up his girlfriend's school and told them to tell her that was her grandma died. 
you know. And That's not a very nice thing to do. Yeah. She was already dead. He was using that as an excuse to check her out of school. Uh, oh, I guess. He yeah. posed as her well, dad. Well, what if I read her grandma's not dead? <laughs> 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 what was that on the Goldbergs where he did yeah. that and they're like, I thought my grandma died. Yeah. It's just not a good movie. <laughs> and no. also... I mean, I guess it is a little bit more realistic now that we know. But why was a principal chasing down three teenagers? Because he's Jeffrey Jones and he was a great principal. You just call parents and say, hey, go pick up your kids. Yeah. Unless you're Jeffrey Jones. (laughs) Sorry. So what is your number four? My number four is another one that a lot of my friends like. And I'm not saying it's a bad movie. I know that technically it is a good movie. And it was very innovative for its time. However, I just don't like it that much personally. And that's Avatar. I'm not talking about Avatar The Last Airbender. I like that TV show. I'm talking about Avatar the movie with the blue people. I just think that it's boring. And it just doesn't pique my interest that that much. I liked it better when it was called Fur and Gully. (laughs) I do like Avatar. I think the reason Tori doesn't like it is because the movie's so long. Uh, no, I like Lord of the Rings. And it's a rip off of Fire and Gully. I like Lord of the Rings and other long movies like that. I just don't like Avatar. I just think it's boring. This is the first movie on y'all's both of y'all's list that I disagree. I think it's a great movie. I like it. Oh yeah. I'm not saying it's horrible, I'm just saying it's just boring to me. Yeah. Okay. For my number three, it's a movie that has way too many different stories going on at the same time. And putting them out of order to be different doesn't make it good. Well, we like Sasquatch game, though, and that has that kind of storytelling in it. Yeah, but this it's done one, better, though. Yeah. Yeah. My number three is Pulp Fiction. Which I haven't even watched, because if you've seen it, you know why. I'm not going to show it to her. Yeah. Uh, I've already seen way too many disturbing movies. It's one of those movies where none of the characters have any sort of redeemable qualities. Mm-hmm. Beside the fact that it's really not that good of a story. The only thing that's memorable from it is now I know if I go to France and I want a quarter pounder, I gotta call it an El Royale with cheese. I was about to say, you just gotta, gotta call it the Royale. Yeah. Even I know that and I haven't seen it, so. So, I mean, that's pretty much it. Oh, it's the greatest movie ever made. Tarantino's a genius. No, he's not. No. He's just a weirdo who puts way too many foot shots in movies. That is true. What is your number three? My number three is the first horror movie I have on my list. You guys know that I am a huge, huge, huge horror fan. I watch horror almost every day, honestly. <laughs> uh, but it's, it's a bit extreme. If I'm going to watch a movie, it's probably going to be a horror movie. And now I've watched most of the classics at this point. Like, for example... Care Bears. <laughs> like, for example, Halloween, Scream, Nightmare on Elm Street, Psycho, stuff like that. Now, this next one is Friday the 13th because it's not that good. It's just a boring story where nothing really happens and the gore looks not well done. Unlike a lot of the other movies of the time, like Nightmare on Elm Street, where they put a lot of work into the practical effects. And it's just not that good and I'm bored the entire time. I I did watch that. You know, the movies that made us, mm-hmm. where they went over this and they said that Halloween, there's no blood really shown. Yeah. And so they wanted to go the direct opposite and have as much blood and gore as possible. Mm-hmm. And uh, I'm not offended by gore. I watch horror all the time. I've watched tons of gory movies. I'm just saying, when it's just gore, I'm probably not going to be interested in it. And now the Jason Voorhees story does not Add make up. any sense. Yeah. Uh, he goes from being an what an eight year old boy to a grown to man like, with to a like machete the size of cane, and then he has a machete for some reason, even though he didn't have one in the original story. But in the first movie, you know, he jumps up out of the lake at the end and mm-hmm. pulls the girl in, and he's still a little boy. And then in the second movie, he's a grown man. Third movie is Corey Feldman. I believe that's the one with Corey Feldman, isn't it? I don't know, and I didn't watch went, any more after it. And then they went back to the Jason Voorhees thing after that. I just don't think that series is very good. Yeah. I guess the water made him prune up, and that's why he grew, like, yeah. ten feet after he got out of the water. 
But anyway, what is your number two, Dad? My number two, this is where I'm really going to start to make some people mad, is my want, my number two and my number one. My I number, like these. My number two is a movie that I've seen the movies, even took my wife to the movie theater at midnight <laughs> to see these movies. Now, if you know me, you know that I love my wife because I took her to the movies at midnight <laughs> to see these movies. I don't know why you didn't just go by yourself. Because I didn't want to go. No, not you. <laughs> but my number two is the Hunger Games series. And everybody's like, oh, how can you say that? Because I've seen The Running Man. It's not the same story. It's the exact same thing. No, it's not. All the people that live in the capital wear all these outlandish clothes and they watch pay-per-view of people dying... And they're all like, the host is wearing this outlandish get-up, and they're a little, you know, it's the same thing. No, the Hunger Games is a game for the rich people to watch, and the Running Man is almost like a death penalty thing. Where the rich people get to watch. Yeah, but it's different, though. Um, it's not good. Yeah, I do like the Hunger Games. I, I do, too. I prefer the books, but same. the movies are great. I prefer the Running Man. No, it's not that Because Jesse Ventura is awesome in it. Okay. My problem with The Hunger Games is that they cast Jennifer Lawrence as Katniss. And yeah. she, in the book, is not described as being as uh, muscular, muscular as, or as tall as that. Uh, it should have been a more frail-looking person that would mm-hmm. be more unassuming for that character. Like Delta Burke back in the <laughs> day. <laughs> yes, Delta Burke. Katie Mixon, you know, a girl like that. Not only is Delta Burke the right age, she's also the right size. I said back in the Designing Women that day. <laughs> mm-hmm. Okay, so that's where I started making people mad, I'm sure, is The Hunger Games because it's a Running Man ripoff. To me, <laughs> what is your number two? My number two is... One of my best friend's favorite movies ever. She made a bunch of boys go see back in the day. Hint, hint, Kimberly. <laughs> that is Titanic. Uh, this movie came on when I was in the hospital a couple months ago. I decided to put it on. Worst thing I've ever seen. <laughs> Didn't even get halfway through. I, I hated Rose. She's the most annoying person I've ever seen. She tries to jump off the boat. Then when she falls, she starts screaming. I like the fact she was going to commit suicide because she was going to be too wealthy. She was going to have to go to parties. Boo-hoo. Ugh. Yeah, like, huh? I'm going to have food. Ugh. Spoiler alert. At they the sink. end, the boat sinks. Can you believe it? What? <laughs> <laughs> I think the thing that makes me the maddest of that movie is she could have scooted over on that door. She could have let him on that door. She didn't want him over fat butt out of the way. He was poor. But she didn't want to be rich, remember? No, she. but she wanted a bad boy. And she got a bad boy for the time she wanted him. Turns out she was a bad girl. And then, truth be told, she really just wanted Billy Zane! But then at the end, or not at the end, it was whenever they flash forward to the end at the beginning of the movie, and she's like, it's been 84 years, and I still think of him every day. I'm like, you know each other for two days. And you went on to have a family with other with somebody else. Yeah. So you don't miss him too much. Yeah. It wasn't even Billy Zane. Billy Zane. Before we get on to our number ones, I believe your mother has one that she wants to make the entire world mad at her about. I don't care if everybody gets mad at me because I will always feel this way about this movie. I think A Christmas Story is one of the most boring movies to sit through. You're Everybody evil. loves it but me. She likes trimmers. Yeah. Trimmers. Yes, I'm entertained by trimmer, trimmers. I am not entertained by A Christmas Story. I know that's an unpopular opinion. I know that no one's going to agree with me. And I, I cannot help the way I feel about it. Every time that movie comes on, I go... <sighs> It's Golly. funny. Because I know everybody in the room is going to want to watch it. And I'm going to have to sit through it again. So, no, I don't like it. I think the funniest part is... I also have a relatable moment whenever I wear anything long sleeved or with jackets. I can't move my arms! <laughs> <laughs> and now, Tori has a friend named Robert. Would you like to tell him about Robert? Yes, I will link his YouTube channel called The Movie Guy Tulsa in the description. We met him at a wrestling convention in Pirate, Oklahoma. But his pick, even though he said he didn't think it was overrated per se, he doesn't like that word. And I get what he's saying. He doesn't mm-hmm. want to discourage any filmmaking. He yeah. He appreciates the art of filmmaking, mm-hmm. I believe. Yeah, that's yeah. I agree with that. 
Uh, but he said that he didn't like Across the Spider-Verse, which is not the first one in the Spider-Verse, but it's the second one. Now, I can't comment on this because I haven't seen it yet. We we're, we have it on our list to watch. Yeah, we were going to watch it on Netflix, but I got uh, sick at the time and I couldn't go home to watch it. And I didn't have it on my computer. And then once we got home, it had already been taken off. So that's unfortunate. But when it comes back on, we'll watch it. Now, the reason he said he didn't like it is it gave him a headache. And I, mm-hmm. I guess it may have been the sound effects or the music. Yeah, the it. first one kind of had... The lighting, I think. They do a lot of... Yeah, the first one had a lot of glitch uh, lighting and sound effects in it. So, that makes sense. So, if y'all can go show Robert some support, I, l- let's do that. He's going through a lot right now. He's got stage 4 prostate ca- cancer. He's going through chemo. He's a really great guy. And he's been a wonderful friend. Mm-hmm. So, y'all, go into the description. Uh, we'll link the channel. And, and go to him. Give him some support. Subscribe to his channel. He's a, Subscribe. He's a- watch some of his videos. Make comments. Whether you agree or disagree with him. And just mm-hmm. show him some love. And we are praying for you, Robert. Yes. So, Dad, what is your number one? My number one is a movie that, it's a series, and I never got past the first one. Same. So, it's it's hard for me to say that I hate the entire series, but if I never got past the first one, I know I couldn't get into the second or third or fourth right. or fifth or sixth one. There's only three of them. It seems like there's eight or nine. <laughs> and that is, I'm totally a Matrix, dude. The Matrix, starring Canoe Revis. Who we love. Yeah. I usually like uh, <laughs> Canoe. Uh, Rivers. Rivers. <laughs> Shout out to Ashton on that one. Uh, Keanu Reeves. We usually like his movies, but that, I just couldn't get into it. I'm like, you know, at least with Total Recall, where they were going, you, you kind of knew where the direction of the fake world was and the real world was. And this one, I just couldn't keep track of what was going on, and there was gross Same. stuff. Um, my thing is, I liked sci-fi. Sci-fi, horror, and action are some of my favorite things ever. But this one, I didn't know what was going on the whole time. And even though it had like a cool, goth, new metal aesthetic, I can't appreciate the aesthetic if I don't know what's going on. <laughs> that is true. So that's why The Matrix is my number one. So my number one is a movie that I didn't even finish because I hate it that much. Now, this is what people usually say is the dream love story. Sorry Mm -hmm. about this, Jeremy Graves. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Uh, It's The Notebook. I hate this movie. They're the most annoying people ever. All they do is scream at each other, push each other, hit each other. How is that love? No, I don't want to watch that. It was before you was born and your mother had rented this on VHS, I believe. We started watching it. And I have a tendency to fall asleep during movies. And she put it in, and I, so I watched the first three or four minutes. And I, was, and I was thinking to myself, I know exactly how this is going to end. So I slept through the entire middle part. Woke up at the very end, and I was like, yep, I was right. Yeah. This is how unattached I was to the movie when we watched it. At the end, I didn't even realize they both laid down and died. Yeah. Like, I was... Spoiler, it's only been out for 20 years. Yeah. <laughs> If you haven't watched it yet, then it's on you. I was going to stop by Blockbuster on the way home. <laughs> but I'm just saying, somebody had to tell me that, sh- that they both died. I was like, oh. I, I did. I was like. No, I said, uh, I wasn't it Miss Denise? I don't know. Maybe. Whoever. Because she liked that movie, I think. And, I, and I was like, oh, that makes a little more sense. Because I was like, what? This is dumb. So we laid down and went to sleep together. Like. Mm-hmm. <laughs> and then I remember in school, Miss Denise told me about that movie. She was like, they were so in love that they died together. And I'm like, why? What happened to him? She goes, well, the woman died, and then he went to sleep right by her and died too. I'm like, why? There was nothing wrong with him. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, thank you for watching. Like, comment, share, subscribe. Comment your most overrated movie down below. And comment whose list was better. Go check out Robert in the description. Go to my two other channels and my merch store down in the description. Bye! And Tori now has merch. Go check it out at bonfire.com. Link in the description and under the About tab.
Bye.